गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव गॉन थ्रू एक्टिविटी शीट थ्री लिंक विद द लेसन टू पॉइंट वन एंड लेसन टू पॉइंट टू दैट इज द कैट फैमिली ऑफ इंडिया एंड ब्लैक ब्यूटी रेस्पेक्टिवली इन विच आई थॉट यू अबाउट सिंगुलर एंड प्लूरल फॉर्म एंड ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट सिंपल टेंस Now, last question we have gone through is question number six. Read the following short story, in which the story is given in which form? In past tense, it is given. The story is given in past tense, and we have to convert this story in present tense. As you can see here, in different words, underline is there, so that words. is given in past tense and we have to change that underlined words in present tense okay we have gone through this now here you can see what it is written now rewrite the story in the present tense we have to convert everything whatever the underlined words we have to change this into present tense and after change we have to write over here space are given here you have to write over here now after this based on that paragraph we have question answer here in which you have answer over here and you have to make a questions of that answer like first question is first the question is given now frame questions to which the following are answers as you can see here answer are given and we have to form a question so answer prince salim and birbal go with akbar we have to make a question of that you can see in the paragraph here it is given one morning akbar went for a walk with prince salim and birbal and answer is given prince salim and birbal go with akbar akbar so what will be the question who goes with akbar question will become who goes with akbar likewise second answer is given they go to the bank of a river where do they go question number 3 answer they sit down to rest there they sit down to rest there why do they sit down there why do they sit down there now answer four they give their clothes to birbal question will become who do they give their clothes who do they give their clothes to two will be also there question number five what does sorry no question answer he says that birbal looks like a donkey and the question formation will be like this what does akbar say about birbal what does akbar say about birbal question number 6 answer number 6 they bait in the river for some time so what will the question become how long do they bathe in a river in the river now come to second question seventh question seventh question here is remember first point is given in english we always use these words in the plural form i have already explained you about singular and plural form in singular form singular means if we are talking about one person and plural means more than one so few words are there which is always we used in the plural form like examples are given over here the examples are scissors glasses trousers jeans shorts tights and pajamas all these words we can use only in the plural form here in the picture you can see students words that are always in plural form like the first one is given here what 
you can see genes we never say gene that is the another meaning gene genes we always say this as genes now here pants we can't say pant we always say pants like here shirts tongs glasses pliers pajamas gallows binoculars scissors braces forceps all these are the words we have to use always in plural form now back to our video now here you can see first we have learned this in english we always use these words in the plural form now second is given we use person for one and people for more than one like example it is given she is a nice person she is a nice person we are talking about only a person one person that's why we said person why we have used person over here because we are talking about only one now why we use people here they are nice people because here they is pronoun and for they they means more than one and for more than one what we have to use we have to use people now third one we use the words fish and ship both as singular and plural but we use police as plural only like here in the first one there are words in the plural form always we use these words in the plural form likewise in the third one we use the words fish and ship both as singular and plural means if we are using this fish in forming a singular sentence means the sentence in the singular form then also we will use fish and if also we are using in plural form then also we will use fish likewise in the same case with the ship also but we use police as plural okay police we will only use as plural now some of the sent next question is some of the following sentences are right but most are wrong rewrite the incorrect ones correctly like here first one is given i am going to buy some flowers this question is correct means this sentence is correct so no need of any correction in this question now come to the second one i need a new jeans you can say i need a new pair of jeans or you can also form a sentence like this i need some new jeans both are correct in the question it is given the following sentences are right but most are wrong we have to write the incorrect sentence in the correct way so these both are correct this two formation of sentences are correct now the third one is it's a lovely park with a lot of beautiful tree it's a lovely park with the a lot of beautiful trees here we have to just add s with trees now fourth one there was a woman in the car with two children for one for that is singular we use child but for plural we use only children so it is more than one it means it is plural for more than one we will use what children and if only one we are talking about only one that is in singular form we use child and singular form plural form of child is what children so just we have to remove this s from here now come to the fifth one he has 10 sheep and 15 goat students i have explained to you over here that we use the words fish and sheep both as singular and plural means if we are making a sentence in singular form or in the plural form we can't put over here s and all it means it is wrong so here the fifth one he has 10 ship 
we will remove s from here we have to remove s from here and 15 goats we can use s over here in goats now sixth one most of my friend are student so you will use most of my friends you can use s over here you can use s over here most of my friends are students he put on his pajama and went to bed he put on his pajamas this also we have learned that we always use these words in the plural form like pajama we can't say pajama we have to use s with that pajama and in singular or plural it doesn't matter whether it is singular or plural we always use pajamas so the answer will become he put on his pajamas and went to bed now come to the next page eight one we went fishing but didn't catch many fishes like we have learned that we use the words fish and ship both as singular and plural fish we can't use fishes so here also this fishes is given as wrong we have to remove this es so we went fishing but didn't catch many fish now ninth one i know many persons in this town what many persons we can't use many persons for more than one we have to use people so in place of person what we will use we will use people now i like your trouser where did you get it the answer will be i like your trousers where did you get them trousers we always use in plural form no singular of trouser it will always trousers so where did you get if we are using in plural form it means we have to use them instead of this it now 11th one i don't like mice I am afraid of them. This one is correct. So we will write just okay. Now, twelfth one. This scissor isn't very sharp. It's blunt. This scissor. Scissor also come always in plural form. Means we can't say scissor. This word is always in plural form. So caesar means that is a wrong word we have to use always scissors so this scissors aren't very sharp they are blunt so we have completed this now come to the eighth one what is eighth question we can count some things we call them countables we can use them in the plural form as like here countable and uncountable we will learn over here countable and uncountable countable means the things which we can count easily and uncountable means the things which we can't count so here are the examples given tree we, we have to change this into plural so tree become trees bush bushes story stories knife knives and foot change into fit we have to change all this into plural form now uncountable nouns we can't use here it is given we can't use a or n with them and we can't use them in the plural form as means here we can't say waters monies honeys salts like sugars we can't say like this it means the things which we can't count in that we can't use them we can't use the words in the plural form so examples we have learned now add to this list as many words as you can now these two blocks are given and you have to write in countable forms the things which you can count and in uncountable the things which you can't count in uncountables you can count pen, chair, bus, houses, 
trees, books, bags. These are the countable things. And for uncountable, the examples we have learned water, money, honey, salt, sugar, hair we can't count, star, wheat, rice. All these will come under uncountables. Okay, now students come to the next one. That is ninth one. Complete the following exclamations. Before going through this, I want to explain you about exclamation. Exclamation means students. First, this is the symbol of exclamation mark. Now, first see here what is exclamatory sentences. Sentences containing surprise or emotions are called exclamation sentences. An exclamation point is placed at the end of such sentences. Means if we are expressing our emotion, our happiness, if we are expressing everything like this, then we can say that sentence is exclamatory sentence. Let's see the example of it. How beautiful this city is. Your exclamation mark. How beautiful this city is. Now, second one. Sarah wiped the board. Whoa, I missed the service. We also say like this, students. Hooray. You have seen everywhere. Hooray, we won the match. So, hooray, we are expressing our happiness that we have won the match. We won the match. So, this also comes under exclamatory sentence don't talk get out please help me now this these are the examples of exclamatory sentence now here in this you can see the example how nice and after how nice exclamation mark is there here nice is an adjective now it's such an expensive car adjective and here noun what a nice car again we have used adjective and noun it's so modern adjective now what it is given here that if we are making an exclamatory sentence how or so if we are using it means you are using adjective with that and if we are using what or such with what you are using adjectives and nouns. So the formation of sentences like this in exclamatory sentences. Now come back to the topic. The first question here given is what a good idea. This is already done for you. Second one. What grand ideas you have. Third, what horrible news. Likewise, fourth one, what lovely eyes she has. Fifth one, what an awful mistake he made. Why we have used an here, student? Because here a is given. Okay, and before that, vowel that is a, e, i, o, u, the producing sounds we use. And so what an awful mistake he made. Sixth one also what an interesting exercise this is. Likewise we have to do all these. Okay. Now come to tenth one. That is the last one. Choose the correct word to complete each sentence. The two options are given here. You can see in the bracket. And with that two option one is the correct one. And you have to write any one from two over here. Now the first one is given Manu is an dash Manu is an artist. Second one Babita is a clever girl. See students in the first one why we have used an artist because here an is given and with that the vowel sound we will use the words which are producing vowel sound that we will use. The second one, Babita is a clever girl. Third one, would you like a banana? Because before, before if we are using this orange, we can use this orange, but if 
and is given here then fourth one what does alka do she is unemployed she is unemployed fifth one anil is the captain of our school team sixth i saw anup at the station this morning seventh what did you study at the library today eighth one what time do you normally get to the office so here we have completed activity sheet three students you will get the pdf of this on saturday thank you student